So today we're going to talk about how to determine nutrient deficiencies based on looking at your nails. Now I've done a webinar on this topic before, which is more of a complete video talking about the hair, the skin, um, and the side of the mouth. So you can check that out. I put a link down below. But in this video, we're going to focus just on your nail. Now, your nail gives a lot of clues on what's going on internally relating to your nutrients and your foods. So let's kind of go through uh, step by step. Um, let's start with vertical ridges, okay? That could be a slow thyroid, hypothyroid condition. But it can also be a deficiency in vitamin B12, okay? Or iron. But if you're deficient in iron you're gonna have um, probably one or two ridges, which are gonna be a little bit bigger. Uh, if your nails are brittle and they break easily, usually a deficiency in folate, okay? This comes from leafy greens. People that have brittle nails usually do not consume enough vegetables. Also a deficiency in biotin, which is related to your flora of your good bacteria because your microbes actually can make biotin. Now, if you have a history of taking antibiotics or you have some digestive issue, um, you may be deficient in biotin just from that. And also, uh, fungus on the nail, which is kind of a, a yellowish uh, discoloration on your nail, that's a fungus. That's due to low biotin because there's some imbalance uh, inside your gut, okay? And that biotin is not, not working that well. Also, taking silica will strengthen your nails as well. If you have this little white spot, which this is green, but it would be white, that's usually a zinc deficiency. If the white spot is right in the center and the nail grows every six months, we know you probably had a birthday party six months ago and you ate the entire cake because refined carbohydrates and sugar deplete zinc. Also, stress will deplete zinc as well. And so will uh, IBS, digestive issues, Crohn's. A lot of issues with your digestion will create a zinc deficiency, including uh, low stomach acid. Okay, if you get the horizontal uh, white lines through here, okay, that's more of a low calcium. Now, over here, we have horizontal lines which are thicker, but they're not as white. That's usually a deficiency of vitamin B3, niacin. If the nail is slightly brown or gray, that could be low B12. And a B12 deficiency can occur if you're a vegan, you're not taking B12 because B12 comes from animal products. Or it could be that you had gastric bypass, which affects the digestion and the absorption of B12. Or it could be low stomach acids. If the nail is clubbed, let's say, for example, it's coming up like this. That can be a problem with the liver or kidney. If you have this pattern where most of it is excessively white, you, you, just the top part is pink, a pink strip, that could be B12. If the nail is completely white or blue, that can be a B1 deficiency. So as you can see, the common theme is low B vitamins and low minerals because both of those nutrients are involved as coenzymes in proteins and your nail is mostly protein. So it's not just a matter of consuming protein, it's a matter of taking the nutrients in the foods to turn on certain enzymes to make the protein grow correctly. Hey, if you're liking this content, please subscribe now and I will actually keep you updated on future videos.